All the mollies, platies, goldfish. 22 feet long, seven or eight feet wide, and three feet high. Bark flying. Look at all the turtles. Mini pool pond's empty. Our turtle bin is empty. Well, I have turtles in it, the snapping turtles, because they're more aggressive with the soft shell. Got all the babies. All the mollies, platies, goldfish, little baby turtles and stuff are all down here. This is my tilapia with no tail, by the way. I casted him to feed the fish one day, and I saw he had no tail. He was about an inch long. So I put him in the turtle pool pond, this pool pond. And look how big he got. He's got no tail. So I'm going to keep him as a pet. What should we name him? I love that tilapia. And then we got the other fish from that pool pond right there. The red tails, Tiger Shum, those babies are in that. There's a little red tail, see? So cute, they're getting big. Um, and then the rest went into this big old ball of a mess. What is going on, Kafros? Welcome back to another video here. Today, we have a sponsor that I love. Raid Shadow Legends. You ever dream of just playing a grade A quality game? Something that you could just dive into at any time of the day? Well now you can. With Raid Shadow Legends, there's over 500 champions to collect. Each with their own skin trees and millions of artifacts to find and equip. Let me set you up right there. One reason why I love Raid Shadow Legends is because of the quality. It's hard to find really good quality games out there these days and I tell you what. Raid Shadow Legends is just that. The detail they put into everything. I mean, just look at this. And the second thing I love about Raid Shadow Legends is you can play with friends. I love playing with my friends. Who doesn't want to play a good old game with their best bods? Now, a couple of my favorite champions, this being one of them, is Sniper. I'll show you my second favorite in just a second, but she's just an absolute beast. Great attack and support skills. The next champion, and by the way, these are both starter champions, is Galek. He just gives me those Hulk vibes, if you know what I mean. He's an absolute beast. Galek. Now you may ask, what's new about Raid? Raid just released the Artifact Forge, where you can save time and craft artifacts directly, as well as a whole new advanced quest system with amazing rewards. And that's not all, they also brought out some amazing new champions. And they're developing the amazing looking Doom Tower as we speak. Which I am super excited for, so you can find me in game under the name Paul C, just like last time we worked with Raid. I played with a couple of you guys actually, so if you are quick enough, you might even be able to join my clan. So what in the heck are you waiting for? Go to the video description down below, click the special links, and if you're a new player, get a free 100,000 silver and one new champion. That champion is Slasher. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Remember, these awards are only available for the next 30 days and only to new players. So good luck, and I'll see you there. It's the first time nothing is on this side of the house since we moved in. It looks really weird, honestly, but now you can get an idea on how big the pond's gonna be. From there, all the way to there, about seven feet out. Today is the day we build it. Um, I actually switched plans. You know, I was going to the fiberglass company that does like ponds with viewing panels and stuff. And I'll be honest with you, that project costed a fortune compared to the one we're about to do. This one was still about $8,000. And I say the price just so if any of you want to do something similar, that's for you. But it saves me about three grand to then put into better filtration instead of spending just so much money. So you know, budgeting myself is pretty big. That, that goes for anyone, regardless on the amount of money that you make. It is gonna be a big pond, same size. Nothing is changing. In fact, this is actually cooler. Way, way, way cooler than the fiberglass pond, other than the viewing panel. But other than that, it's way cooler. The plan is Hector and all his buddies are here. They're building this thing for me. 22 feet long, seven or eight feet wide, and three feet high. This entire thing. And as you can see, lots of tools here. This is just one pallet of concrete. We have two more coming. All this rebar stuff, it's literally just like building a house. All the plywood. And today is the day that they build the base of the pond. You're pretty much gonna see how big the shape. And keep in mind, it's gonna be sick because it's all gonna be concreted, right? The inside will be a light blue silicone, so the inside of the pond will be a light blue color. So when it's crystal clear, it'll look like literally like the ocean. It'll have that look to it. With a nice tile look on the outside, uh, you'll understand that as the parts of these videos go on. And a marble on the top to make it look 
aesthetically pleasing. I promise you it's gonna look insane. Way better than, let's put it this way, a fiberglass pond would have looked, that's for sure. Nothing against the fiberglass pond thing, I think it's super cool. Predatory Fins has all his ponds like that. I just wanted to switch it up, not only switch it up, but save myself some money. And I'm excited to have a project. The fiberglass pond I would have never been able to film. It personally would have just been like, a, oh, okay, it's delivered, that's it. I love doing projects. For instance, we made like four parts on building that giant pond over there. So many different things we've done parts on, and I think this is just gonna be a fun, fun, process fun series and I cannot wait so hopefully you guys get me there once all the guys get here and they start doing some stuff let me know what the plan is I'll pick up the camera again I cannot wait and I hope you're just as excited as I am stay tuned stick along it's gonna be a crazy one all right it is like an hour later this is what I temporarily set up for all the turtles and stuff all the catfish and stuff are hiding in these little crevices to the catfish turtles everything is in here gotta keep my plants alive keeping all the lily pads alive in here but progress has started Hector, what's up, man? What are we doing? Oh, um, a big project. You want to kind of give us a rundown on what's going on? <laughs> eight foot wide, right? Yeah, Twenty long. Twenty long. Okay, so twenty feet long, eight feet wide, and we're building the frame right now, right? Yeah, the frame. Look at it. It's in the concrete. See that? So everything will be into the concrete. As you can see, all these screws are into the concrete. And we are getting an extremely expensive filtration system because I'm not playing around anymore. I mentioned that to you guys. The filtration system costs almost as much as this pond. That'll be installed once it's obviously, once it's done. It does automatic water changes. Everything is done by itself. We have eight inches off the wall so that we can still close our shutters. You ain't even phased as a red ant biting your finger. Oh shit. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I go, didn't even realize it's an ant biting his hand. Let's get it. See, I didn't really know totally what was going on, but now as I see things happening, I kind of understand. I understand at least better than I did before. That's the pond. Not only is my patio an absolute mess, look at this mess, but look at my yard. My yard is destroyed. They had to get these cement trucks back here, and uh, yeah. All over here as well. Oh, and all up there. Oh, Lord. A lot of this will rise back up from a rainfall, but a lot of it I'm gonna need to sod. I'm getting sod for over there by the pond that was recently dug, so I'll just buy a little more sod to then do these spots as well. What are we doing now? We have to leave level. Ah. Yeah. Oh, and it's at a slant. The patio itself is at a slant right here. So they gotta make sure everything's level. So plywood is gonna go along the entire inside of this pond, and that's gonna frame it out pretty much, so. Wow, my, this is my bedroom window. We're gonna be able to just look outside and see the fish. We're people watching right now. We're Hector watching. What's up, buddy? <laughs> so it's all making sense now. This is the outside of the pond. Uh, the concrete will be about that thick. That's the rebar holes. He's cutting the rebar up right now, actually. It's just coming together real quick. So pretty much, we're gonna have like about eight inches on this side of concrete, 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 and then anything inside of that will be water and pond. So it's not exactly as big as the frame looks, but the pond is still pretty big. Done. No, not done at all. But I mean, a lot of progress has been made, as you can see. I was just gonna pick up the camera when this was done. By the time I came back out here, they had a lot of the rebars in as well. This is real heavy duty, man. And now we fill up all the little holes, all of them get filled up with epoxy. Right in. Right in. Right in. Wow. 
Well, that was quick. Okay. They got rebar. What the? Let me hop in here. Is that how it's done right there? Ready, bro. Got ice cold drinks out here, huh? <laughs> oh, in the cooler. Yeah, it's gonna say not 21 yet. You know what's nice too? The pool pond kind of came out like this. So we only had like that much room to walk. This, there's so much room to walk here. And then this black tub with the turtles in it. That right there will go right there up against there. There up against there and there and then there. Spark flying! I wonder what the animals are thinking right now. What do you think? I love the animals. <laughs> so they're gonna do this along the entire thing. After you do these two rows, then you do you do another thing of plywood? Well, we have to put a three, three more. Okay. And another wire and the front, and then the plywood. Ah. Yeah. Wow. There's a lot more to this than I thought. For those of you who may be new here, Hector and his brother and his squad have pretty much built everything on this farm. I mean, from all the little hurricane houses out here for the animals, fence work was from Budget Fence, but like, I mean, I'm talking anything else was built from Hector. So he was the first person I reached out to when I wanted to maybe change my idea on the pond thing. And what I'm seeing is looking real good. Okay, I didn't film much of what's been going on just because I don't want to be repetitive, but we've come a long way. Rebar is all in, all around the entire pond. There'll be plywood right here, and then you pour the concrete in. So picture a piece of plywood right here, you pour the concrete in there, and that'll create a wall. You let it sit for a couple days and let it dry. That's the videos to come. But let me explain here. You can see how it has to be perfectly level. So they will push the wall, then drill these into the ground down there and up here. For instance, watch. Hey, dale, Hector. See? Perfect. If they wanted to do this, the weight of the concrete would then push this wall out and it wouldn't be an even straight wall. So they need to do this so this stays exactly where it is when all that concrete is in there. Hopefully that all makes sense because it all needs to be level. It's very prestigious work. They have them all along the side here. They're gonna do them over here. They have them over here already, see? So the wall can't push out. It's just like when you fill a pool pond up, the sides warp out. That's what would happen to the wood. You don't want that to happen. After the concrete dries, then they remove all this wood and it's literally just the slab of concrete. It's just like, Doing a sidewalk or a driveway or something, just a lot harder. I was initially going to work along with them, but this is some serious, like, very knowledgeable stuff, and I kind of just distanced myself because they're much more experienced than I am, right, Hector? Yeah. <laughs> It is the next morning, day two. Sure, looking fancy today, huh? Let's see, yeah, man. <laughs> I'm happy. We got the plywood between and this metal caging in front of it. As you can see. Along the entire thing. As this now, as well. I cannot wait to see the concrete getting poured and that is what today's video is actually about. Well, part two's video is actually about. Today's is officially over, so thank you so much for watching part one of the pond build. We've got a couple more parts for you guys to watch. This is gonna be an awesome experience. And by part three or four, we should start seeing an end product. So make sure you subscribe to the channel down below, turn the notifications on, follow along, follow my Instagram at Paul Caffero so you don't miss out on any exclusive looks that I don't show here on YouTube. And without further ado, bye-bye. <laughs> see you in part two. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. If you had one candy to pick from, what would you pick?